Hey, what is up, you guys? It's your boy Rashawn here coming at you again with another screen recorded video. All right, so for this video, uh, we're back into the knowledge. We're back teaching. We're back doing the boring stuff. We're back to uh, learning new things. You know, it's boring, but hey, man, it really it really shows. Grind turns to shine, man. We got to get back into the origins of this channel, and that's helping people beat homelessness and, 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 and helping the people that already beat homelessness to live a better life, right? And, and continue to uh, go from a lower state of uh, living to a higher state of living. That's the original purpose of this channel. And I've been slacking on that. I've been doing little bullshit like reaction videos and stuff like that. Excuse me. And here I am, one o'clock in the morning, getting ready to push these videos out. I might do like two or three back to back. So, you know what I'm saying? Going for an hour. You know, I have to put some, I got to put some of these videos out, man. Or else, you know, I'm just going to fall behind my goals and I'm not going to reach my goals. I need to get up and I need to work. I need to grind. You know, it's, cr it's crunch time, man. It's crunch time. As much as I be wanting to relax, I, I can't relax. I, I just can't relax. It's just, it's just too much stuff I have to do. I can't, I can't relax. It's unfortunate. Got to keep going, man. I got goals that I want to hit during the winter time. Like I keep saying it, I got a vision board uh, right over there on the wall over there. Uh, it's off camera, but uh, if, if I remember correctly, my goals has been the same for uh, 2025. I mean, well, 2024. Uh, number one, I wanted to uh, get my business completely legitimized. That means uh, restoring my business license and getting my business website up and running, you know, for income. Number two, I wanted to unsuspend my license because my driver's license has been suspended for years, you know, and if we're going to be doing videos on talking about how to arrest proof yourself and how to do better, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't be sitting up here doing these uh, videos with, uh, you know, suspended license, you know, and, and I don't want these cops. I don't want to give these, these cops a reason to fuck me over because they will. You know, these police officers do not care. I've done uh, videos before on a whole bunch of stuff. You know, about even if they can't find nothing, you know what I'm saying, they'll fish for something. You know what I'm saying? It's called fishing. You know, cops nowadays, they'll do anything to make it a risk. You know? Uh, we, we talked so we talked about uh, risk proofing. We talked about uh, all those things. But, yeah, I want to get my business right. I want to get my, my licensing and all this stuff right. Uh, what else? There, there's some other things. Uh, I want to get me another car. Cause my other car, uh, I got into a car accident. A fucker uh, came in front of me and brake checked me, and uh, and, and and I failed. Uh, so you know, I hate and, and I failed to uh, stop in time, and I ran into the back of him, told him my car, and uh, you know, he just called the cops, and you know, I was riding with suspended license at that time too, and I ended up being jailed, and I lost everything that was in the vehicle. Um, so that set me back. I, I got set back several thousands, you know, and, and I lost my other car, too, uh, before that being homeless and lost the other car before that being homeless, not having the stuff. So I've had a total of uh, I've had about four cars, guys. Three. Now, my first one was a foot. My first car was a Ford Taurus, all white, you know, and then my second one, uh, I forgot what kind of car it was. I forgot what kind of car it was the second one because I didn't really drive it like that. But then, I think it was. I think it was another Ford. It was a more up to date uh, Ford. And then we got a uh, a third one. My third car was um. Was it a Nissan? I think it. Yeah, I think it was a Nissan. It was no, it was a Honda. My third car was a Honda. It was a Honda station wagon. Uh, all black Honda station wagon. And I, and, I, and I totaled that motherfucker. Yep. So that's that. And then I needed a... So now I'm looking on car number four. 
And card number four, you know, for me, car, you know, four is my lucky number. You know, I, I don't plan on losing this car. Uh, I've, I've talked to some connections, and uh, they, I got a guy who said, you know, his his daughter's really getting ready to upgrade to another car, and he'd be willing to sell me uh, his daughter's older vehicle if she doesn't want it. Uh, he's going to sell it to me for uh, 2500 bucks, and it's a Jeep. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be upgraded to a Jeep, you know? Uh, hopefully, if I hit my goals and stuff, you know, and I make sure I hit targets uh, like I'm supposed to. So, yeah, man, it's a lot of things I need to be doing that I'm not that I'm not doing. And, and, and in order for me to make this work, it, it has to work. If I'm going to hit it, I'm going to make my goals to uh, to have three thousand dollars in cash uh, by this winter. I need to be saving up five hundred dollars a month. That's what I need to be saving up. I need to have five hundred dollars every month in savings to have that five thousand dollars to have that thing in, in cash. So I need to be getting out, busting my ass, man. I need to be saving this money. I need to be grinding. And I know this month is it's May. January, February, March, April, May. We're the we're five months in, man. We're five months in. We're five months in. We're five months in, and I and I don't have anything in the savings, man. So I don't know how I'm going to hit these goals if I'm not saving. So yeah, I'm thinking about it. I got I got a double time. I cannot relax. I have to work extra hard. I might fuck it. I got to double it. I got to double it. The goal needs to be a thousand. I got to save a thousand a month. I mean, that's the only way it's gonna work. I mean, or seven hundred fifty or something. I mean, maybe not a thousand a month. I mean, I gotta I gotta be able to hit these goals, man. I'm just thinking to myself, guys. I'm just thinking about uh, what's realistic and, and, and what, what I need to do to uh, reach these sales goals, man. Yeah, if I'm gonna do all the stuff I need to do, man, I, I gotta, I gotta have it. I gotta save a thousand, seven hundred fifty dollars a month. I'm probably gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to door dashing on up. <laughs> Get things repaired. Now I'm gonna have to work, man. It's spring. It's springtime right now. About to be summer. And then I want to go for summer. You know, I know. Uh, you know, October and November. That's uh, that's fall. And then December. That's that's pretty much winter time. You know, says so, so. I need to have unsuspended license, new car. Um. It, it business up and running by by November. So that's the only way I could do it. So I need to get online. I need to man. I got a lot of stuff that, that I need to do, guys. And th these are big goals. So I, I really don't have time to be really to be bullshitting. I have to hit these goals. I also did. I also spoke on my credit. Right, my credit score used to be a my credit score used to be a um. It was at 545 because I didn't have credit for the longest. You know, I didn't really understand credit. I didn't know what was going on. And, uh, you know, I didn't know what, what people were judging me by. I just thought people were being racist and, and, be, and being discriminatory. But that isn't the case. Oh, the cat's just being bad. Okay. But, um, no, that wasn't the case. I, I after I um, bought a course and I uh, bought a book on um, how to get your credit together and all this stuff, I thought I'd do a mini series of me taking the credit uh, the credit repair course and me having to dis dispute certain information and work on certain things and and how to not sign up for certain things and and all that, man. It and all that, but. I went from a 545 credit score to a six. 
what is this, six, six seventy five? Hold on, guys. Let me take you to it. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, my my, my consumer credit score is a six seventy five. So I went for them. Uh, uh, so I maxed out my credit over here, guys. But so that that that's cool. I could pay that. Uh, you know, say on the fifteenth coming up, I'll pay that two hundred, and then that two hundred to go down to my credit. Hold on, let me let me go let me go back. Uh, but as you guys see, my credit score is a six seventy five. So I've been working on my credit. My credit's gone up one hundred and twenty five points, and I want to say about six months because I started in December, and I and and, and it took six months of me. Uh, Getting in the debt, paying my debt off, making on time payments, managing stuff, and doing all this six seventy five. So now I'm I'm I want to say I want to say in another three months, uh, by my birthday in August, I'm going to have a seven hundred credit score. You know that's my goal. And, you know seven hundred credit score, and then before this year is out, I'm sure I'm almost certain my credit score is going to be at a seven fifty. You know, then I'm going to work on getting my FICO score up. I'm going to work on getting uh, all these other things up. And and and, th and this is the stuff that I'm working on, guys. And, and I'm telling you, I, I was homeless. I didn't have shit before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have ignorant parents, guys. Like, like my, my parents are ignorant because my grandparents were ignorant, and they never taught anyone. And then, you know, if you keep going back and pointing the finger back, pointing the finger, pointing the finger back, you know, I found out, you know, my granddad, you know, dropped out of second grade, you know. So, you know, that's during the time where they had, a, you know, people were had a second grade education and they went out there and they worked manual labor jobs and they could afford to live and all that stuff. You know, times were different. You know, back then you didn't have to be smart. All you had to do was be a hard worker, you know. So that, that's how it was. But now today it ain't about being a hard worker anymore you know you you know hard worker they expect everybody to do that but at the same time you got to be a smart worker a qualified worker you got to be what these people are looking for and it's way more competitive nowadays and the, the problem is you know the people around you and in your family they don't understand you know how much times have changed because they're still thinking about how things was and, the, and anyone who still comes out here and is living life and in a real, you know, market today, today you can't go out and get no entry level job and afford a house ever. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that's managers, general managers of restaurants or upper management level positions. And, and the, a lot of these people can't afford no houses, you know, not working on a regular nine to five. You probably have to go like commission, you know what I'm saying? Or some, some commission based job, uh, car sales or something like not, not even, not even car sales, just, just management. In general, like manager of the car sales or, or or work for Apple or Google or something to be able to afford a home. You know, nowadays you have to actually be uh, have uh, education and, 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 you know, some sort of technology, you know, and a lot of things. So that's why, you know, it's so, so it's not like easy out here. It ain't no the, the whole idea of the American dream, as in you could get out your parents house at 18 work a regular job, start your own family and have kids of your own and, 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 and rinse and repeat, you know what I'm saying? Live ever, happily ever after, be able to tra uh, travel and afford all that. That shit, them days is gone. You know what I'm saying? Them days was over really in the, in the 1900s, you know? The 1900s, you know, that th that was it. That shit stopped in, in, in like 2000. 2000, all that shit was coming to an end, man. You know, two thousands. You know, when the, when I remember the minimum wage was uh, three dollars and a quarter. So three dollars and twenty five cent was the minimum wage when I was like probably like six seven years old, and I thought two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars a month working full time was actually money, but it wasn't. And then they upped the minimum wage to seven twenty five from three twenty five. So it went from three twenty five to seven twenty five in Georgia. You know what I'm saying? And it's been that way for like the last uh, I want to say fifteen years. Or something like that, 15, 16, 17 years, something. It's, it's been like that for a long time, you know, uh, for, from that time. And, uh, yeah, but if you're, if you're outside of Georgia and, say, somewhere like California, it's probably going to be like $16, $17 an hour minimum wage, you know, which is totally different. And, and me being an entrepreneur or me trying to get out here and get an entrepreneur 
that's why I, someone like me would want to have a website up because I can sell this shit in Georgia that I have over there to people that live in California or New York, right? Where their minimum wage is $15 an hour, $16, $17 an hour. And I can get that their minimum wage money. You know, this my stuff that I'm selling to them is cheap to them. So they're going to be getting it hand over fist, you know what I'm saying? Because it's cheap to them, right? And then they're going to be giving the money to me. And I'm going to be living now here in Georgia where the cost of living is lower. You know what I'm saying? Then over there, you know? So, so it'll be easier for me to survive versus trying to sell locally because, you know, I can't, you know, I can't, uh, what's it called? I can't play with the prices here, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a certain, it's a market and there's a market rate. There's only so much people are willing to pay for it over here. So if I told someone, I don't know, it was $10 for a bottle of uh, cologne, for a travel size bottle of cologne, let's say this right here. If I told them it was $10 for a bottle of cologne this size, you know, they'd be willing to pay for it. But if I told some them $15 for this, no one would buy it for $15 because 15 is too much. They don't want to pay, pay 15 You know, they say $10 is good for something like this, but they don't want to pay me 15 So they have to pay. But if I went to California or New York and I had this listed online for 15 they pay me 15 all day. Because, you know, this is nothing but an hour for work for them versus over here in Georgia, this would be an hour and a half worth of work or two hours worth of work, you know, for the same thing. So that, that's just show you how, hell, I could probably sell this for $20 in New York and I guarantee you people will buy it. I, I've seen what uh, YouTubers posted up up on YouTube when they go and they show their, their merchandise uh, store and they go in their merch like they have like regular fucking t-shirts like this, you know, and stuff like that. And they'll be like forty, fifty dollars, sixty dollars, hell, hoodies, seventy dollars. You know what I'm saying? And it's just a regular generic uh hoodie and a generic shirt, you know what I'm saying, with whatever their logo is, you know, maybe like hot stamped on it or whatever, and they're charging ab ab absorbent rates for it, you know. Where you can go and get, you know, get the same thing, you know, maybe not with their logo on it, but with some other generic logo, you can spend, you know, 20 bucks, $25 most, you know what I'm saying, on on the shirts and hoodies and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, at, at your local uh, grocery store or I mean, at your local Walmart or something like that, you know what I'm saying, where they have cheap clothes, but it's like people are willing to buy this stuff because, it's online and everywhere has a different standard of living. So like in Georgia, $50 for a shirt is expensive as fuck. But in California where the minimum wage is different. So I assume that everyone gets paid way more over there in California, you know, as far as everything, like if you, if your minimum wage, if you came out of school with no education and you know, and you just went straight into the workforce, you know, say, or you dropped out and went into the workforce, Boom, 15 an hour. But if you went to like college or some shit and you became an engineer in California, your shit would probably be like 60 an hour or something. I'm just making shit up. I don't know exactly what, you know, it is. But let's say it's something like that versus, you know, on the same scale over here in Georgia, you drop out of school, you come out here and you come work in a restaurant, you know, you might get like $10 an hour. So that's $5 less an hour, you know what I'm saying, for starting wages. And on people doing the same job in two different areas. So because the pay is different, you know, saying that that price point, if y'all understand what I'm trying to tell you, the price point, you know, saying to them people in California, you know, fifty dollars might not be that expensive, you know, because how much time do they have to put in three hours? They put in three hours, you know, three hours is forty five dollars. You know, if I'm selling the shirt for fifty dollars or, 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 or forty five dollars, you know, they'll be able to afford that. You know what I'm saying? Three hours worth of work, roughly three hours. And then, you know, you, you go over here in Georgia, they say, well, shit, that's five dollars. You know, I mean, five hours. That's damn near my entire, uh, that's damn near more than half my shift that I have to put in on, 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 you know, just for a shirt. I don't think I want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Whereas in California, it's below half. You know, you got a regular eight hour shift. Three hours out of your eight hours of a shirt doesn't seem so bad. But if I told somebody you work five hours, 
for a shirt, you know, that seems bad. That seems like a bad idea. Less people want to do that. So if I seem like I'm repeating myself or I'm trying to explain it in a different way, it's because I am. I'm just trying to get that message out to you guys or to other people that really, you know, don't understand what it is that I'm saying. So, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for that. So that's why I want to have a website so I can be able to do that, guys. Okay. So, so yeah. I've been born in an unfortunate uh, predicament. My unfortunate predicament is, you know, I'm now living in single mother uh, households and single parent uh, families and stuff. You know, daddy locked up in and out of jail. You know, mama out here raising kids on her own or got to deal with stepdads and stuff like that in and out and, and blah, 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 you know, and, and, I, and I'm dealing with that whole situation where, uh, a lot of people are finding out now in 2024 that single mothers and a lot of women out here cause poverty. And it's true. You know what I'm saying? You sleep with a guy, you get knocked up, you carry the baby to turn, and you, you and then you want to get mad at the world when no one wants to, you know what I'm saying, take care of it or do anything like that or help you take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Now you want to say, you know, talk smack to people. And that's not, that's not fair because no one told you to have it. And no one told you to do all that outside of, you know, the traditional bonds of the way that you're supposed to do it. Like, well, when these conservatives say how you're supposed to do shit, they're saying it for, for a reason because it's been it's worked before and it's proven to work before. And it makes sense when you think about it. Motherfucker tell you this is what you need to do to be successful, right? And then you say, you know what, nah, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? I want to do my own thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and now you do your own thing, and then you find out that it didn't work the way you wanted to. Now you're coming back to the people, and you're complaining about them, about, oh, the game's rigged, and the stuff's not right, and this, that, and the third. But that's not that's not fair. They told you the winning strategy. The winning strategy was you, go, you, you grow up, go to school, if you if you're a woman, this this is your winning winning strategy. If you're a woman, right? If I was a female, you're supposed to grow up, go to school, you know, get your basic education, you know, enjoy your childhood and all that stuff. And then when puberty and stuff kick in, you need to automatically, you know, start looking for uh start looking for a suitable uh mate. You know, since someone who looks like they got a future, someone who looks like they stand on business, someone who looks like it's gonna be a good goddamn man. You know what I'm saying? Someone who's gonna work a job, look like they're loyal, they you know, they take care of their responsibilities, do they pay attention to what it is that they you know they need to do, do they handle their business, and blah 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 blah, right? You know, that's what you're supposed to be doing, and you need to hang around those dudes that do that, and it won't be long before you end up pairing up with one of these dudes and you have a, a solid relationship. That person may not be perfect, no one is. You know what I'm saying? And then you know, you get out of school. You know, eventually dude knock you up and y'all got a family together, but it's cool because you know he ain't going nowhere. He's got a job. He's got he's going to you know, he might be going to college or whatever it is, just like you going to college, you know what I'm saying, whatever, and y'all together, you know what I'm saying? y'all married, you know. That's why they tell you to get married, married before you carry, you know, because if if you got somebody on those on paperwork they can't just up and run, or if someone's willing to sign that marriage certificate, it means they're serious about you. You don't have to worry about people playing games, you know, with you or anything like that. But what women do is they say, nah, I want to do my own fucking thing. I don't, I'm tired of the patriarchy. I'm tired of men telling us what to do, and we're going to do what we want to do. And they go out and they do what they want to do, which is with everything that you see today. They'll say, and then they come and complain to us about the shit that they've been doing. And then, you know, when in all honesty, I should be complaining about the shit y'all been doing. The reason why I'm poor right now and I don't fucking have it and I'm struggling to fucking get it is because literally I got put into a bad situation. I'm in a bad scenario and I'm trying to make the shit better. And people are talking shit to me based off the shit that's not my fault. I have to deal with certain struggles and deal with certain situations in life that has nothing to do with me. It's not my fault that I was born poor. It's not my fault that, you know, I'm in an area where people are lacking and don't got it. 
You understand what I'm saying? All I could do was work to make it better and, 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 and not make those decisions to where, you know, keep my stuff in my pants and, 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 and not, you know, and not go out and have no kids at an early age or before I'm ready. I can't afford to have no children. You understand what I'm saying? And it might seem like I'm going on some kind of, uh, you know, big rant or whatever, and I'm bouncing from one circle to another. It's just that each one flows into an, uh, one another. I'm not bashing women or bashing men. I'm just speaking facts, you know, and just talking about what it is and what people are doing out here, you know, and it's just, and, and that's how you get poverty. You get poverty when you got people that don't want to follow the rules of the game and they just want to do what the fuck they want to do. They want to break tradition. And there's nothing wrong with breaking tradition if you if you find something better. But the thing is, a lot of you guys don't find anything better. You guys are finding something that's been proven to not work and doing it. Or you found something that's, you know, saying uncertain and you take a chance and then you find out that the shit ain't work and now you're going to double down on it and triple down on it and think you're going to keep banging your head into a wall until you get a breakthrough. And that's just not what it is. You know, and, and I'm just saying that for anyone that thinks that, you know, what we have today is actually good. You know, and it's not to speaking of which. So that, that's why uh, I want to do a couple things here. Um, Tucker Carlson, I guess I'll do a little bit of uh, reaction video in this. Do a little bit of reaction because the, it actually ties in perfectly because uh, Tucker Carlson said something about. Uh, you should have kids, young people should have kids. And, and don't get me wrong, I love Tucker Carlson. You know, I think the best thing that's ever happened to him was um, him no longer being at Fox, him breaking away from Fox News. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad Fox News dropped him. The, the moment Fox News fired Tucker, I stopped watching Fox News. Matter of fact, Fox News was the only news, where, uh, news place that I watched, only because of uh, uh, Tucker Carlson. That and because that fine ass news reporter, they had a fine ass news reporter, but she got pregnant and she, she somebody knocked her down, bro. And I lost interest after somebody knocked her down. She was my news crush. She's still fine, though, man. Man, I don't know her name, but she was very fucking beautiful. Probably one of the most beautiful women of color I've ever seen in my life. That woman was nice. She was nice. She was real nice. And I don't blame nobody for knocking her down. She was like straight up, to be honest, man. I, I didn't I don't think women get any more naturally beautiful than that. Matter of fact, can I get a picture of her? Can I pull her up? Hold on. Here she go. I man I managed to find fish one up. I had to find a good one. Uh, but they keep popping up all these goddamn ads and shit, man. But here she here she go right here. Her name's Courtney Bryant, bro. Like I, now I might have been tripping with your ten. No 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 woman's a ten. I was tripping when I said ten. I got excited a little bit, but no, she's like uh realistically speaking, I'd give her I give her a nine, bro. She's close. She's close, bro. She's close. Cause you gotta remember she's all natural. Like I I don't like it's all natural. Like her hair, that shit actually comes out of her head. She ain't got no weave on. She ain't got none. That's her actual hair and her actual skin. Like that's her actual real life face. Like like she did she got she even though she do got a little makeup on. Her makeup shit is like natural. She's not putting on all these crazy. Y'all know how them girls do. Like she's the most beautiful natural woman that I've seen so far in my life, without a bunch of makeup caked up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Just nice, wonderful. But that's that. And I just wanted to show her that. Like I, I, I love people that look like that. Like oh my god, look at this. Let me see. Now they talking about some. Open with Facebook, bro. I don't want to sign in. Facebook gonna try to make me sign in. I don't want to have to sign in on nothing. Let me see if I can get another uh, picture that don't have like Facebook on here. I guess LinkedIn. Now they tell me I join LinkedIn. I don't want to join LinkedIn. See, now they keep trying to get me signed in and shit. Is there another uh, video? Like, y'all yeah, understand what I'm saying. Like, I don't have to scroll in on this. Yeah, I don't have to keep 
going in on this. They they want me to sign in and shit. I don't want to keep signing in on shit. But this lady is absolutely beautiful. You know, to me, you know, I know beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but according to some, somebody done knocked her down. Apparently, somebody else thought she was beautiful too, and and decided to pursue. Like, look at that. Like, she's a little bit older. No, not a little bit older, but she. This is when she was younger. Look at that, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Somebody knocked her down and got her pregnant, bro. And hurt my heart, man. But that's somebody with money that's way more advanced, you know, than I am. Shit, I, I ain't gonna be able to do nothing for her, man. Shit, she's already in the 20s. Shit. <clears throat> I, I'm in my 20s and I, I'm fucking broke, so I can't do nothing with it. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Good for her, man. But yes, uh, that, that, that's pretty much another thing that sucks about, you know, my situation is, you know, you, you have to watch all these other women out here, the ones that you want, the beautiful ones, the, the pretty ones that look like they got a future and, and is ready to, like, start a family and shit. You have to watch all these women choose other men who got it from an easier time, when times was easier. You know what I'm saying? And not, not to say that no man struggled, but everybody struggles, but, you know, like, you got some old head from the 1900s, you know what I'm saying, picking up these young chicks, you know, and, 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 and taking it to town. But when times was easier back then, you know, now you got people trying to make it in the 2000s. Now you got people trying to make it, and, and, and we done had inflation. We done had all kind of coronas and all that stuff. And don't get me wrong, they had it back then, and it was hard for them too, but at the same time, it wasn't as hard, if you understand what I'm saying. Anyone that knows what I'm saying and have history going on, that's that. And yeah, if you run game and you got a mouthpiece and all that stuff, yeah, you could talk to some women nowadays and you could get them to – you know what I'm saying, date you, you get a little bit of sex and all that stuff. But to find someone that's actually a homebody, someone that's actually, you know what I'm saying, like family material, you know, that's way hard because you got to train, you have to train people now because it's not being taught to them in America. You know, you, you have to teach a chick how to cook and how to, how to, how to be, you know, how to listen and, and do what you need her to do and all that. And uh, most of these girls take offense to it. And they're not going to deal with you, you know what I'm saying, because you want to actually go places. So that that's the stuff that I'm dealing with, you know, today. And, and plus the ones that are like that, you know what I'm saying, they're not going for me because simply the fact that I'm struggling, you know. And, yeah, I've done great accomplishments. You know, I've beat homelessness. You know, I, I've, I've, I have plenty of management experience. I have construction, you know, uh, experience. It's a little bit of re renovation experience. You know, I know how to patch holes in walls. I know how to uh, build sinks, repair sinks. You know, I know how to do yard work. You know, so, yeah, I have a lot of little, you know, small skills and, and, and many skills. You know, I know how to, you know, do maintenance on vehicles. And, 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 and you know, I just I have a lot of skills i understand business I, i'm financially uh uh competent enough to start my own business and, and and i understand how to manage inventory and i understand how to properly price products for for the market and and i know how to manage money and do things the right way you know like like stuff like that i have a functional business you know so i am coming along but on the outside you know this stuff hasn't fully manifested. This stuff hasn't fully manifested. And, and I live in a world where people only care about what you got, what you got right now. Like, they don't care about what you're going to get or what you might get. They care about what you got right now. You know what I'm saying? They don't care about what you had. You know what I'm saying? And they don't care about what you might get. They care about what you got. That, that's, that's the type of world that, you know, I live in, you know. And I don't know, maybe your world might be different. You know, but from our perspective and the way I see it, you know, everybody just judge you based on what you got, what you got right now. You know, that's all people want to hear. So I just ignore people and I just, you know, I say, fuck it, you know. You know, and I just do do me. I don't live my life to try to please other people. You know, although I would like to have a woman like this, you know what I'm saying? But I know the chance of me getting something like this is probably like null and boy. Good luck finding some shit like that. You know, that actually wants to listen and take care of the house, you know, saying all this stuff.
even if I do have money, you know, good luck. That's simply because, you know, the world is getting messed up. The world is uh, uh, being changed to where they're, they're putting the men against the woman and, the, and they're putting the woman against the men. And now everybody's going back and forth and, and going to war with each other. And, and, you know, good luck getting the house, you know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to make you permanent renters and have everybody live in tiny houses to where if you lift your head up, you're going to bust your head on the goddamn ceiling and shit. You know, because them ceiling so goddamn close to your face in the bed, man. It, it it doesn't make any doesn't make any sense what they're trying to do nowadays, man. It's it's just it you know the future. It just don't look good. It just it looks like people is letting communism and and all this other stuff take over. That, that, that's what it seemed like. It seemed like they're letting all the stuff that they be making fun of other countries about come in and take over and, and do what we and do what we talk about. You know, the, 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 we're supposed to be land of the free, home of the brave. You know, and, and and matter of fact, you go outside and you don't see no free motherfuckers and you don't see no brave motherfuckers. You know, you got cops out here trying to lock you up for any old thing. You got. People out here, you know, trying to make some money and every dime they get gets taxed, you know what I'm saying? And for the people that work under the radar, you know what I'm saying? Hell, they catch hell, you know what I'm saying? Trying to goddamn make a living. Plus everything else I just told you, it's like, it's crazy out here today, man. Hmm. It's crazy out here today. It's just absolutely crazy out here. Everything's so expensive now, man. It's just, it's just crazy out here, man. I don't know how people, I don't know how people make it, man. Yeah, I don't even know how the hell I make it, but you know, I still do. It's crazy, man. But without further ado, let me get back into that uh, Tucker Carlson video I was telling you about. The Tucker Carlson video where he thinks that uh, we should have kids. Uh, in 2024 now i haven't watched it i don't know it could be clickbait it could be tucker uh trolling or whatnot but i really want to see what he's talking about i want to see exactly what he's talking about what he means by people should have kids what he but and i'm sure he has a, a good reason for saying people should have kids but you know i don't think we should have kids you shouldn't have any that you can't afford why the fuck would you struggle to have kids and and, and it, that you can't afford, you you just gonna spring forth the next cycle of, of poverty, you know. For what I can see, however, there's only one answer I'd be willing to accept from him, and that's the one from uh, that they did with uh, I read this book called The Wealth of Nations. Excuse me. The Wealth of Nations by uh, Adam Smith. And Adam Smith, you know, is, uh, for some of the people that don't know him, he's like the uh, the father of economics and all this stuff, or the grandfather of economics, as we know it. And he's talking about, he talks about everything. But I remember Adam Smith speaking about something about uh, in rich countries, people have less children, and in poor countries, people have more children. And that actually, should, because children can actually be a boon to the family or whatever. And, and in some countries, uh, the children can be used as a retirement plan, plan for the grandparents and all that stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. I have to, I have to see what, what Tucker's going to say here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's see what he's talking about. We gonna see what he's talking about. I don't think he shows it right here. Where is it? I ain't trying to watch him for no hour. I don't know. Advice to men: reject sex, party, and fame. Okay, I might could do a reaction on this. It did about a day ago. I mean, I I probably do a reaction on that later on. Um. Trying to figure out what it was that he had up here. Let me put half kids. 
have kids. Let's see if that shows up. Advice for young people. Have kids. Okay, so it's a clip. Oh. So it's a short. Oh, so it probably is clickbait now that I see it. But I'm going to play it anyway. Let's clips have kids. Okay, let, let's see. I'm, I'm pretty sure because anything on YouTube... It's hard. The quality of YouTube has been just dropped dramatically uh, over the years. But it's been a lot of clickbait and bullshit. But I'm only clicking on this because it's us, Tucker Carlson. So I don't think Tucker Carlson is telling people to have kids. I think that's the conversation that the that that or the topic that Tucker is uh, speaking on. So it, nowhere does it say Tucker saw uh, Tucker Carlson have kids. It says you should have kids. So it's only four minutes, so I'm going to click on it, and we're going to uh, see what they're talking about because I'm getting tired. It's 2 o'clock. I'm sorry, guys. I lo I'm losing a lot what of What advice would you give to young people? You got four. Somehow made them into great human beings. What advice would you give people in high school? Have children immediately. Oh, that? Including in high school. Yes, I think that. That's all that matters. Like, in the end, you know, again, these aren't even cliches anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. So he did say that shit. So he did say have kids immediately. Hold on, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. I'm just gonna let it play, and I'm not gonna keep stopping it. Just, just unless it's really important. One more time, come again. What advice would you give to young people? You got four. You somehow made them. What advice would you give to young people? You got four. You somehow made them into great human beings what advice would you give to people in high school have children immediately oh that including in high school yes i think that that's all that matters like in the end you know again these aren't even cliches anymore because no one says them but when i was a kid people always say on your deathbed you never wish you spent more time at work and i mean everyone said that it was like one of these things and now now i don't think google allows you to say that it's like no you're gonna wish you spent more time at work get back to your cube but um, I can't overstate from my vantage how, how true that is. Nothing else matters but your family. And if you have the opportunity, a lot of people are being denied the opportunity to have children. Oh, okay. And this messing with the gender roles, and I'm not even talking about the tranny stuff. I mean, the, I mean feminism has so destroyed people's brains and the ability of young people to connect with each other and stay together and have fruitful lives. It's like nothing's been more destructive than that. It's such a lie. It's so dumb. It's counter to human nature and nothing counter to human nature can, can endure. It can only cause suffering. And that's what it's done, but fight that. Stop complaining about it. Find someone, by the way, everyone gets together. Most people get together on the basis in a free, in a Western society where there's no arranged marriages, they get together on the basis of sexual attraction. Totally natural. Get off your birth control. And have children. Oh, I can't afford that. Well, yeah, you'll figure out a way to afford it once you have kids. It's like it's chicken and the egg, but it's actually not. When you have responsibility, when you have no choice, this is true of men. I'm not sure if true of women, but it's definitely true of men. You will not achieve until you have no choice. As I always think of men, men do nothing until they have to. But once they have to, they will do anything. That is, yeah. that is true. Men will do nothing unless they have to, but once they have to, they will do anything. I really believe that from watching and from being one. And I would never have done anything if I didn't have to, but I had to, and, and I would just recommend it. And, but by the way, even if you don't succeed, and even if you're poor, but having spent my life among rich people, I grew up among rich people, I am a rich person. Boy, are they unhappy. Well, that's clearly not the road to, road to happiness. You know, you don't want to be a debt slave or starve to death or anything like that, but like... Making a billion dollars, that's not worth doing. Don't do that. Don't even try to do that. If you create something that's beautiful and worth having and make a billion dollars, okay, then you have to deal with your billion dollars, which will be the worst part of your life, trust me. But seeking money for its own sake is a, is a dead end. What you should seek for its own sake is children. Talk about a creative act. Last thing I'll say, the whole point of life is to create, okay? The act of creation, which is like dying in the West, in the arts and in its most pure expression, which is children, 
That's all that's worth doing while you're alive is creating something beautiful and creating children. By the way, it's super fun. It's not hard. I can get more technical off the air if you want. Can you, yeah, you, please. I have a lot of thoughts on it. Do you have documents or something? <laughs> no, I can, I can draw you a schematic. Oh, thank um, you. But yeah, that's the greatest thing. And the fact that corporate America denies, oh, freeze your eggs, have an abortion. What? You're, a, you're evil. Are you kidding? Because you're taking from people the only thing that can possibly give them enduring joy. And they are successfully taking it from people, and I hate them for it. Only Tucker Carlson. Only Tucker Carlson to make something sound so horrible, sound so good. But, uh, yeah, that's what he's saying. He's saying people should have kids because, you know, that's what life is about. You know, kids and kids is uh, make family. And then life is about family, family and kids. You know, that matters. When you're on your deathbed, you're going to want family around you. But at this particular moment, you know, you know, people, they make, they're making having children very difficult. They're making it to where you can't afford to do it. And they're going to have a whole bunch of miserable people. Yeah, he, he hit it on the head. He talked about feminism. He talked about, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. He talked about phys- feminism and how they're making shit hard to where people can't have families anymore. They can't afford to live and, and all this stuff. But he also talked about how men don't have to do anything unless they have to. Or, 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 well, let me say it again. Men won't do anything unless they have to do it. You know what I'm saying? And then when they have to do it, that's when, you know what I'm saying, they overachieve. So I, I, I get what he's saying, and, and, and that's, a pretty, that's a pretty good statement. You know, uh, it really is a good statement, and... and I, I agree with it, you know, mostly. However, I'm not having no goddamn kids, Tucker. Not right now until I can afford it. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. You, you sit up here and tell me to find a way to, to, to support these kids when, you know, I haven't found a way to really support myself. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't have my own yet. I've been trying to get my own for the longest. The fuck I'm gonna do? Go out here and have these guys have sex with someone and have kids, you know, and then be caught. Then be caught in paternity court, be caught on child support, be man, be caught on all sorts of stuff, man. All sorts of stuff. All the things that people are going through nowadays, man. Nobody wants to. Tucker, 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 Tucker. Tucker just need to, uh, I think he need to restate that, that statement. But again, again, that was just a four or five minute clip. I don't think, uh, what's the call? I don't think, I think he went more in depth and, and, and he had a, a better meeting. And, and what he said, if I was to watch the whole hour video, watch the whole hour video. Excuse me, guys. I had to light an incense. Just get my get my mind right. I like to light incense. Just to get right. Mm. So that's that. All right. So I know what this uh, name of this video is going to be about. The name of this video is going to be the decline of America by Aaron Clary. <laughs> part one, which is the book we were supposed to be doing of uh, this video, but I talked during the majority of this video and I did a little reaction in the majority of this video, but on the same token, we still need to go ahead and get into this book here, talk about some real shit, The Decline of America. Uh, where is that book at? Uh, da, 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 da. Aaron... The curse of the high IQ, cover calls and leaps. Uh uh-uh, uh, that's not right. Give me one second, guys. Here it is, right here. He wrote this book called Enjoy the Decline Accepting and Living with the Death of the United States. All right. 
time to go over here, put it on uh, voice aloud. Let's go ahead and hear. Let's open the file. Enjoy the Decline by Aaron Clary. Page two. Oh, I don't think this is an audio book. I got to find a way to make this into an audio book. Psychological. Uh, da, da, da. I'm just looking at it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Can I copy this? Paste this? Oh. Can I copy and paste this stuff? Uh -uh. So if I can't copy and paste this, maybe I need to reopen it. Hmm. Let me close that. Let me go to uh can I do read error? Read error premium? Can any of this be copied? The stuff can't be copied. Okay, so we have a technical difficulty here. So I have this book that I want to read to you guys. However, the formatting is not correct. None of this stuff is right. To where I can audio book it. I can read it, but I can't audio book it. Hmm. So I am going to need just a moment to uh, get it right. See if I can find a better version of this book. And I'll uh, go from there. One second again, guys. All right, so I'm here. And there's a book by another company talking about... Decline of the West, right? So, Decline of the West by uh, Oswald Spengler. This was written in 1996, so they already done talked about Declining of the West long before. So, I think we need to talk about the... Uh, okay, so I got an idea. We're going to discuss the 1996 version of it, and then we're going to... Uh, work our way from the 1996 version to the Aaron Clary version and we're going to see just how uh, just how similar these are because I think Aaron Clary he wrote his in like 2013 his book 2013 and now we got this guy from, from a moment sooner in 1996 so this was a year before I was born where he wrote that where uh, Oswald Spengler wrote this book so actually, we're going to read an old book, you know, and, and, and test it and see how accurate it is today to, to today's standards. And then we're going to go and uh, look at Aaron Clarence's book and see, and see who's more on point. OK, guys, so we're going to go ahead and enjoy the benefit of reading. So let me go ahead and get this book. Well, unfortunately, guys, um, I don't think I'll be able to read that book or discuss it today or for a while. I have to uh, I have to do a lot of converting and I have to do a lot of work just to make that book readable. Or, you know, by the NPCs uh, on my phone. So uh, I wanted to talk about this subject. It was such a perfect subject. Uh, I tell you what, guys. I'm 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 not gonna I'm I'm not gonna tell you guys no. I can't do it, even though I already did. I, I'm gonna find a way to make it work. Okay, I'm gonna find a way to make it work. Man, I, I wanted to do, detonate the last six minutes of this video to like literally digging into that book, but. <sighs> next video. Next video, guys. Next video.
All right. Thank you guys very much, man, for watching. I'm out.